Hello everybody, welcome back to more Diablo 3. We are now on a slightly higher difficulty. We're up to expert instead of uh, instead of normal. So that's two notches up. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll make it harder. Maybe, but I doubt it that, you know, we'll make it easier. All right, judging based off of how long these guys are taking to die. Oh my goodness. All right, the game liked that. Not... Uh, but yeah, seeing how long they're taking to, uh, to die. It's not like a outrageously long time, but it's like, it definitely takes a little bit more effort. Instead of two hits, it's like five or six. That seems a little bit more appropriate. And especially because we don't want to get it too, you know, oop, too buffed up because, uh, of like just a couple enemies. Man, I'm going to, I'm going to want to hit the, uh, our pet so much here. Yeah, we'll just lure him back. Because if we upgrade it too much because of the skeletons, you know what happens. These guys get buffed up. And it's definitely a lot harder. I should be using my, my skeletal mages. The corpse explosion does seem to be good, but it also it seems to more be like a, like a supplementary thing, if I were to classify it right now. Like, we should be uh, doing our Skeletal Mages probably on uh, whenever we have the energy for it, the essence for it, if you will. Oh, we already got them on. Oh, magical items. I've never heard of those in Diablo. All right. I'm, I'm just really pumped to be playing this. Any excuse to revisit the world is just f fun in my book. What a nice, lovely, fun world to visit with corpse explosions and half-formed blood golems. I, If I were to guess, I'd say we were in the wrong spot. Because I could have sworn there was like one uh, one way to tell which of these is not the uh, Chancellor's, Chancellor's Altar. And I thought it was anything that has the miners in it. Maybe that's unfounded though, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Ooh. Yeah, just do it from right here. Didn't even have to see him. Didn't even have line of sight. But yeah, I, I'm really pumped to be playing this. and pumped to see what kind of abilities we get. What kind of crazy, like, set abilities there are. Because I know that one of the things that is included in the pack is, of course, uh... I mean, it'd be really dumb to inc include the character and then not have them get special class-specific items. So that's another one of the things. I'm really excited to see the runes, and I'm really excited to see what some of the more uh, wacky set items are. Because some of them are, like, really interesting for other classes. Like, you move fast fast enough, you do more damage or whatever. Or, like, this ability does more damage after this ability. Or so, and I, I think those ones are really fun. <clears throat> Alright, stay on the move. I see that we are getting hit a couple times, and <clears throat> it is actually, like, starting to hurt. Because <laughs> before, in the first episode, when we got hit, it didn't really even look like anything. But we're definitely going to we're gonna be able to get a lot more ex um, experience this way, I would think. I know that the ideal way to get experience is to, like, chain it and stuff. Also, I did figure out... Wait, hold on. Oh, we have a... Sudden impact. Stun the enemy for one second. You know, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna do this for a second. Just to try it out. <clears throat> What's Diablo without a little bit of trial and error here? Stun the enemy for a second. I didn't... I don't see no stun. All right. All right. <clears throat> we gotta be careful. I think I might have been looking at the wrong thing, because, yeah, there's no stuns. No big deal, though. Was that for bone spikes? Oh, that was for bone spikes. <laughs> that guy just... Poor guy. That's for bone spikes. That's really good. Corpse Lance. Target an enemy to summon projectiles from nearby corpses. All right, we can check out Corpse Lance instead. I'm afraid not. So it's like a... Basically, we could do Corpse Explosion to get AoE out of 
the corpses. Should we do that? I'm feeling a little bit riskier. Let's go with the uh, the higher DPS, less defense. But yeah, we can corpse explosion for an AOE out of the corpses, or it seems like we can do here. Let's. Ooh, so yeah, that explodes single target. If I gather correctly, seems pretty cool. So that the only resource that uses is the corpses themselves. That's pretty metal. I'm afraid not. Yeah, that seems nice. I mean, well, when you're exploding corpses for damage, it's nice. Maybe is not the operative word, but you get my drift. So what is this doing? Piercing projectile. Hey, come on. 500 weapon damage and poison, or as poison to all enemies. Stop it. Damage is increased by 15% for every enemy bone spear passes through. So that's like a little group AOE thing as well. Yeah, it looks like this is maybe going to be the wrong direction. Or wrong uh, crypt. I don't know if there's an easy way to tell or not. But I, I thought I came to the conclusion before. That the miners meant, meant to know. But it looks like I'm wrong, because I don't think it would have a Defiled Crypt level 2. Yeah, there we go. Instantly debunked. Also, hold on. We gotta do this. I was... I don't know what I was thinking. This is, uh... Something we can work with. I think we should probably go for Intelligence, because that just buffs up damage, right? Yeah, it just basically straight up buffs our damage. Let's do, uh... A little bit of that. A little bit of that. No, you know what? Let's go with six, six, four. Sounds beautiful. Then we can do the other categories. What should we do? Why are we like almost dead? Critical hit chance, cooldown reduction. To me, like, cooldown reduction sounds good, but, uh, maybe six of that, one of that for min-max reasons. <laughs> there we go. That sounds good, and I guess we can do these all at the same time. I definitely want to have a couple into life regeneration, especially on this. And then these, like, we don't need a lot, but just having some life regeneration, because right now we have literally zero. It's kind of a problem. Alright, and then you kind of want to mix the rest of those evenly, I'd say. And then, dun dun. Okay. Area damage, life per hit. See, a couple in life per hit might be nice, too. These are the more quirky ones. Area damage per point. I, I don't remember how that works, but I... We can always reset this later, can't we? Sure, let's go with that. Okay, there's our Paragon points. That's basically from playing other hardcore characters. That's not a luxury that we've had in my other Diablo series. Uh-oh. Oh, what am I talking about? This thing does so much damage. Don't you dare touch me, though. Um, that was kind of crazy damage. Into the tomb. There's our first, like, half boss. God, I guess, uh... Expert is not necessarily that... Challenging either, but that could just be because, uh... Like, I, I don't know, they, they're dying quick. But... Oh, shoot. Could just be because we're kind of a glass cannon. Look at all these corpses. If we have... No. No. Jeez, it just takes one to one-shot him. We're so, so, so strong. Too strong. There's a teleport out. I don't think that's what we want. I think there are altars right here. Yes, it is. You're going to be a little bit more challenging? All right. Bring him right here. Okay, that's stupid. This is this is, move is too strong. Like, uh, 
I don't know. I think I probably got to up the difficulty even higher. I thought that expert was uh, when it started to get kind of kind of tough. So I think next episode we'll make it even even harder. I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Boop, boop, it's good boop. To work again. There. All right. Was the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than me. Bloody mess. To occupy my mind. Oh man, I'm gonna have so much fun looking at all those. I want my life to mean so. Oh, look at us. Got a little cap, clipping through our hair. I paid 15 bucks to get a hat that clips through my hair. No. It's all good. I have retreated. All right, where? I know that this gives. Oh, the only reason I'm clicking all those books is for the experience. All right. The Orcs Passage. Not far off of the Skeleton King. I don't think. I mean, I always uh, like a little while ago. I would forget. Because I always thought that the Skeleton King, because he's so iconic to me, I always considered him as, or not considered, but I assumed he was the final boss, like every playthrough I do did, even though I remember the Butcher exists. It's just, uh, it's just a forgetful kind of thing. Uh-oh. Hold on. These guys are going to be teleporting. I want to get all the ads out of the way. This could be nasty. If we can get all the ads out of the way, we can do something like this. That is not possible. Don't have to aim as well with this one. It's kind of handy. Oh. Me. Command skeletons. Passive. Raise skeletons from the ground every two seconds to a maximum of seven. That is so cool. Yeah, I like that. Also, did I not... I didn't put that on. That is so cool. Risen mages leave a corpse when they die or expire. That's pretty cool. Cost 10 health, 10% 10 health to cast, but last an additional two seconds. Hmm. Oh, we got an army. We got an army. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this is always like when I when I uh, play the game for the first time. This section right here was some of my like first moments thinking the game it was like, hey, this is actually kind of pretty. I mean, because they they uh, do a lot of um, you know reusing of color palettes and stuff like that. So when you see something like this, it's it's kind of uh, got a really cool contrast to it. Y'all are nothing. Look at my army. Yeah, maybe maybe I do want to go with a minion spawning thing. I do like that they have them uh, be like a much different color. They're like a lot lighter. Otherwise, because I thought that it would be kind of hard to tell uh, tell them apart, but they really did a good job with that. And they don't look stupid either with the color palette, which is even more impressive. Wait a minute. I forget where, where we're going right now. I think we need to get to do the John Dar thing. We need to get our ally. I'm assuming it's going to be over off in that. No, let's go this way. It's got to be this way. I always, like, just get set that it's definitely going to be in this direction in, uh, you know, procedurally generated games, I get really committed, like, oh, it's obviously gonna be this way, and then I get, like, a mini existential crisis when it's not. Oh, this is, this is pretty satisfying. It will be more satisfying when I up the difficulty even higher, though. There we go. That's where Jandar and Cormac are. Whoop! Cormac! Your magic 
I like how they, they do just... They don't call them by their names, though, even though they have names. They just call them by, like, warrior and stuff, don't they? Or, I mean, they, I know they are right now. Rude. Who are you? I will tell you when you find my stuff. Tell me first. Give me a reason to care, dum-dum. Oh my god! All right, let's go with that one. I saw of uh, of adventuring, and I know that that one is um, experience. And even though it doesn't technically make us stronger, I, I, I like leveling up fast. It's come on, Cormac. It's just been something I, I've always picked for my gear. Is the experience. Down this way. Well, too late. They they had three very, very weak people defending the chest. I mean, I suppose they didn't assume he was going to break out. They get a little bit of benefit of the doubt. Ba -ba -ba. Oops, that was on purpose. Seven intelligence. We could maybe... What is this... Yeah, okay, it's still an increase in damage. Dang, this staff is apparently pretty good. And then... Fleeting Shrine. A speed? Yeah! I like going fast. It's not quite the, uh... The same as getting the shrines in adventure mode. Those ones are, like, really crazy. They, they make you go absurdly fast. Thank you. Yeah, how long are you gonna last, Jandar? Oh my god. These corpse moves are unreal. They're just insane. <laughs> that was so sad. Oh my. Okay, that's probably gonna be worth it. Because we're gonna upgrade... The difficulty. Yes, come with us. We'll upgrade the difficulty next time, so I will want to have that. Taunt enemies for 10 seconds heals you and the... I think the taunt is probably going to be better for us. What's best? What do we got? 12. This gives vitality. And also, I think we do get the monster experience up for that. All right. Well, let's teleport back to town real quick. <laughs> yeah, the, me too, Mr. Feelgood. All right. Okay, let's do a little bit of sound. I know I should probably be looking through this stuff, but I think I've been looking through it as I've been picking it up. Can do that. And we got to go get the most important thing possible done. Can we do transmog? <laughs> Is it possible already? I don't know what the... Uh, don't remember what the... What? Limit is. Oh, the die is just right like this now. That's new. Oh, yes. Oh, and we can even do some of the stuff I got on my other characters. We have so much gold! Oh my god, I'm stacked. We gotta look cool. We gotta start to look cool. I kinda like this better than the, even the Leoric's crown. This does look pretty necromancery. But let's go with that. We don't even have a shirt yet, so we can't transmog it. And other than th that, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> like, the shirt's the most important thing. Ooh, look at that. That's just like some bandages. That's kind of cool. It's just fun looking through this stuff. I'll do it real quick, though. Yeah, I want a shirt. I do I do want a shirt. I can probably get a cheap one. Hey. That seems pretty decent anyway, so. Also, that guy can shut the hell up. 
Don't touch my stuff. No. All right. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's do it. And you can dye all your stuff individually. Oh, wow. Look at that. Dyes the horns. Oh, I'm so glad that I have the ability to purchase all this stuff right away. Oh, man. We're going to look like a candy cane. I love it. Actually, I kind of like that dyed black. Nah, you know what? We'll leave those. Okay, we look really quite dumb. All right, that's fine. Especially with the our little uh, pennant thing. There. We're all right. Okay, that is going to do it for today, though. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point, especially in its infancy. It's a, a wee babe. And we need to nurture it together. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> See you next time.